A professor of applied geology at the University of Technology and Applied Science has discovered a non-toxic gold leaching agent that can be used by miners instead of mercury. The eco-friendly powder residue is, is free of cyanide and other harmful chemicals. Professor Immanuel Ahin believes that the gold leaching agent, technically known as Sechem CFX100, could help deal with mercury pollution in the mining industry. Ahmoud Mohamed Nuruddin has more. Ghana for decades has struggled with environmental challenges, from land degradation and soil erosion to air pollution and many others. Although government continues public education on the harmful effects of some human practices on the environment, the situation is only getting worse. Mercury, a very toxic mineral, is now being largely emitted into our air, water and soil daily as a result of small-scale mining. Speaking at the launch of the Africa Environmental Health and Pollution Management Program, Minister for Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation, Dr. Kwekwe Friye, explained small-scale mining is now the largest man-made source of mercury in Ghana. Artisanal and small-scale gold mining is estimated to be responsible for over 700 tons per year of mercury emissions into the atmosphere and an additional 800 tons per year of mercury releases to land and water, making it the largest man-made or anthropogenic source of mercury. A very serious environmental challenge that calls for effective management if we have to enjoy these deposits to the fullest. In an interview with Joy News, Dr. Efria indicated mercury intoxication can affect organs such as the lungs and kidneys. The mercury once released into the air, soil or water is practically irrecoverable and it is not essentially a biodegradable substance. So when it locks into your system, your bone, your brain, everywhere, it is there forever and it causes damage, neurological damage, kidney damage. The ministry has therefore launched the Africa Environmental Health and Pollution Management Program aimed at tackling the harmful effects of mercury and e-waste on the environment. The project it is seeking to manage our environment, especially with regard to mercury. And then, of course, e-waste has also become a problem. So overall, this program seeks to manage those two environmental <laughs> pollution, because they are the major ones. You get a handle on those ones, and then virtually, the uh, if so facto, the steps that you, you use to handle those ones will take care of the rest. Executive Director of the Environmental Protection Agency told John News the agency on its part is exploring a bamboo species which can help extract mercury from the soil. We at EPA, we're going to complement this um, uh, project effort. Uh, we, are, we are at the moment um, exploring the means of using uh, biotechnology by way of uh, plants. We are aware of some bamboo species uh, outside this country that has the capacity to um, uh, take uh, poisonous or toxic substances like mercury and cyanide from the soils as they grow. So very soon we're going to uh, integrate the approaches as to solving the challenges of mercury. As government makes calculated efforts to curb environmental pollution in Ghana, it is incumbent on citizens to play their part in ensuring the environment is safe. Judith Aotretando, Joy News.